Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we're gonna do an analysis of the Portugal Pro 2024, and the winner is Nathan Diasha. That's right. It was a very, very close show. I wasn't sure who was gonna win it. Of course, William Bonac was a little bit more conditioned, had like thinner skin, more details, but Nathan was just bigger, a lot bigger, and his conditioning was significantly improved from the last show he did in Italy. In third, we had Emir Omeragic, in fourth, Christian Wolski, and there was also this new guy, he was here next to Bonak here, he was freaking humongous, you're gonna see him later, he was bigger than all of these guys, and conditioning was also pretty good, but he's just not polished enough uh, to be in contention of like winning this show and challenging these top guys, but he was also very good. Now, as far as the top two, that's the most interesting part here. William Bonek, who just won the Ampro Cup Spain a couple of weeks ago, beating Bekrus Tabani, and Nathan Diasha, who plays second at the Italy Pro after Bekrus Tabani. So, like, based on their previous track record, you would think that uh, William Bonek is probably gonna win it. You could say that he probably had some sort of an advantage, like uh, momentum from winning that show, but apparently it didn't matter much here. However, even though Nathan Diasha probably won't be able to travel to the US, he still isn't qualified for the Mr. Olympia. So maybe he had a slight advantage because of that. But enough about politics, uh, let's, let's assume that this was fairly judged, which I think it was, because while I was watching this, I mean, I really had trouble deciding who was better. Like, I like Nathan, because he's bigger, you know, taller, I would say rounder, fuller, uh, Bonek was really conditioned, and like he has a lot of muscle as well, a lot of dense muscle, but like he wasn't as full and as round as Nathan. Maybe his legs from behind were a little bit bigger, thicker, more detailed, and his back maybe had a little bit more depth to it, but as far as like the X-frame, the wheat taper, Nathan was better in that regard. And as I said, like overall mass, you know, roundness, fullness, and just the structure, you know, he has better structure. But I was trying to figure out who's gonna win this show based on like pose for pose analysis. Because that's how the shows are judged. You know, the guy who wins majority of the poses is the guy who wins the show most often, usually. As far as like the way the judges were placing these guys on stage, you couldn't figure out anything. They were moving them around. At some point, Emir Omeragic was in the center as well, but I knew he won't be in that top two. It was all the way between William Bonek and Nathan Diasha. Nathan won. Now let's see why. Let's do a post or pose comparison. There was no two-man callout. It was a three-man callout. These three guys right here. Also, it was kind of weird that this show had pre-judging and finals at the very same time. They did their posing routines, then the comparison, and then they did another round of posing, and then the final comparison, and that was it. After that, they gave out the awards, which I definitely don't have a problem with, and they actually left all the other categories to give awards to after bodybuilding. So I don't know how many people actually stayed to watch that, but this is the way this show was done. I don't know why, but I like it for sure. Now, let's go. Let's start this comparison with the front double bicep. So like I said, William Bonek, he has that thin skin, those deep details. He doesn't have the same fullness and the size and like the freak factor that he had back when he was at his prime. If this was prime William Bonek, he would smoke Nathan Diash at this show, but it wasn't. And so Nathan was bigger, fuller, a lot fuller than Bonek. In terms of structure, we all know that Bonek has a little bit thicker waist and Nathan's waist is very small. But the way Nathan is hitting this pose, I really don't like it. The way Bonak is doing it is much, much better. Because Bonak truly is a master of presentation. Like, he knows how to hit these poses to make his body look absolutely the best. So, in this pose, even though Nathan's structure is a lot better, the way William was hitting this pose, he kind of made his X-frame look potentially even better. Not really better, but he truly got maximum out of it. And with the details, it actually looked pretty good. But then you look at Nathan and the fullness in his legs, in his chest. Compare the chest. Look at how much wider and fuller and like more popping out of screen, like 3D, his chest is. The shoulders as well, the arms, you know, the biceps are longer and fuller, so are the triceps, lats, you know, he's fuller everywhere, bigger. So it's basically like structure and fullness compared to better posing with more details. So this one is extremely close, I would probably go with Nathan rather, but I can see an argument for William Bonac winning this one, so let's say this one is a tie. Now let's move on to the front lat spread, and in this pose, again, you can see exactly what I was saying before, look at the details on William Bonac, like the details in his chest, 
the separation everywhere his midsection his chest his shoulders and arms even everything looks almost grainy you know everything is very detailed but you know what maybe nathan will have the same kind of separation and striations if he wasn't this full and he was freaking blasting full and honestly i love to see it he was basically as full as he was in the previous show in Italy, but he was definitely in much, much better condition. He definitely improved conditioning, especially in the lower body. This time around, you could see all the heads on the quadricep, like all the details, almost like cross striations, which is not usual for Nathan. And this is exactly what his coach said the plan is. To bring him as full as he was at Flex Pro in Italy, but with slightly better conditioning, especially in the lower body. And they brought it. William Bonac, I don't think he looked any better or worse than the Spain show. I think he was pretty much the same he was back then. Now, of course, he beat Backrus, Backrus beat Nathan, but this is a better version of Nathan. So if Nathan was like this at Italy Pro, he would probably beat Backrus as well. I mean, based on the track record, at least, you could make that assumption. So once again, fullness, size, like uh, Nathan just looks bigger than Bonac next to him. His legs look rounder more popping even, which is not usual, I would say, for Nathan. He's not exactly like super big guy in the legs. I don't think his sweeps are crazy, and Buona has a lot of muscle in those legs. But here, especially the way he's hitting this pose right now, his legs are looking wider, bigger, right? The chest looks a lot fuller, the waist is significantly smaller. So I give this pose to Nathan for sure, even though I do like what Bonac is bringing here with his structure, which is not great. With a wide waist, you can't look that good in the front lat, especially for a shorter guy and so on. But here, he, he's also holding his own, with the details, mainly. But yeah, this pose, Nathan, for sure. But let's move on to the side chest now. And like I said, guys, this show is extremely close. If you disagree with me on every single pose here, that's totally fine. I won't argue with you. I mean, I can see, like, there is a lot of things going on for both of these guys. They also have, like, very different physiques. I'm curious to see the scorecard to see what the judges actually thought. But, yeah, to me, this was very close. So, like, side chest. Yeah, this is probably the closest one, honestly. Like, Bonac, again, super detailed. Look at the details in the freaking chest. For me, that's probably the most amazing thing about Bonac in this show. Like, his chest details. And also the details in the shoulders and the arms. And then the lower body. The glute striations, the hamstring tying, even the details in the calves. Everything, everything is just so... In so many lines, so many striations. Everything is basically in feathers. But then, you look at Nathan Diasha, and you look at his chest, which is significantly bigger and fuller. His arms and shoulders as well. But also, his conditioning is good. He is not as detailed as Bonac. I don't even know if that's conditioning or something you can work on and improve it and change it. Maybe just Bonac's skin, like the maturity of his muscle and stuff like that. But he definitely had more details, but Nathan was just simply bigger and fuller. So this one, guys, very, very difficult to decide if you ask me. Bonac has more details, but has a lot of muscle as well. Nathan doesn't have as much details, but has enough details and he's bigger. I would like to say this one is a tie for me, because I know Nathan won the show. But honestly, I definitely, my eyes are definitely more drawn to William Bonac here. Maybe it's because he's in the center of the callout at this moment, but still, still, like, he, his chest, his, his, everything is so detailed. And he's not really lacking any size. Yeah, Nathan is bigger. But then Nathan also doesn't lack conditioning. He's big and he has good conditioning. Not as good as William Bonac. But like with this one, I'll have to rely on my instincts. If I flipped a coin and had to choose one name, I would say William Bonac in this one. All right, now next pose is gonna be very interesting. It's a back double bicep pose. And this one, like, you would probably expect William Bonac to look better because he's kind of known for his back poses. Like, the back is not the widest, the shoulders are not the widest, the, the, the waist is not the smallest. It's probably not the best X-frame ever, but, like, with the amount of, of details and the thickness in that back, and then also the details and the, and the conditioning in the glutes, and the size of the legs from behind, the hamstrings, everything, he does look very good in the back double bicep. But then Nathan, again, the structure, he's a lot wider especially in that upper back, like the shoulders area. He's a lot wider in the shoulders. The waist is a lot smaller compared to his shoulders. Better, much better with taper here. And then like the glutes conditioned, 
maybe not as much as Bonex, but conditioned. Hamstrings, much more conditioned than the last show in Italy. Much, much better. Much improved. And I'm sure the judges noticed that. They noticed the improvement. And also, like, Nathan's size in the shoulders and the arms. I wouldn't normally expect this, but I gotta say, this one, Nathan wins this one. So it's 3-2 for Nathan right now. Now, as far as the back lat spread, first of all, check out Nathan's lower back, like the details. The feathers in the lower lats. He never had that before. But overall, it's a very similar situation like in the back double bicep. Bonac has a little bit more details in the glutes and hamstrings, and the back itself, sure, he's drier, he's more detailed, like I said, but uh, Nathan has that structure, that width, that size overall, and a much smaller waist. You can see a good width taper, like his shoulders are wide, and then it's coming down nice to a small waist. Bonac's structure doesn't allow that. So, for that reason, it's a close one, but I will give a slight edge to Nathan, basically for the same reasons like in the back double bicep. That makes it 4-2 for Nathan, and then we switch to the side tricep, which is Nathan's worst pose. He knows that it's his worst one, and it just so happens to be William's best pose. So this one is easily won by William Bonac, for sure. The way he's hitting it, the way he's showing his abs, his stomach details, uh, his chest is like wide, he's showing the other shoulder a little bit as well, the way he's uh, flexing his arm, putting a next close to his body, Nathan looks uncomfortable, there is no details in his, uh, in his abs, um, the details in the legs are kind of washed up in this pose, you can't see the width in the shoulders, so this one goes definitely to Bonek and this makes it 4 to 3. We have two more poses, abs and thighs and most muscular, and as far as abs and thighs, we all know that Bonek doesn't look good in this pose. He's doing whatever he can with his physique to make it good, he's showing his quads, he's showing the detail that he has, but no matter what he does, what he tries, he can never look better than Nathan in this pose. And Nathan is definitely hitting this pose much better than at the Italy show, like he improved it a lot. He's not flexing, he's not crunching that much, his obliques are not popping out that much, his wheat taper looks much better here, like the legs are also more detailed because he's drier, especially in the leg area, abs are also more prominent, deeper, drier, so I give this pose to Nathan easily. And so it's 5 to 3, and the last pose is most muscular, and when I look at this one, I wonder, did Nathan really improve it, like the way he's hitting it, or because of his conditioning he looks better, or is it simply because he's now standing next to William Bonac instead of Bekrus Tabani? Bacchus was just insane in the most muscular with his shoulders, but now Nathan actually looks very good, like very wide in the shoulders, his abs are looking amazing here, the legs full, round, he's definitely killing Bonac in this one. So that's 6-3, to three. how is that possible, there are only 8 poses, because the first pose I gave both of these guys 1 point, so this is the way I saw it, this is the way I see it, if you guys see it otherwise, you can tell me down below, but I absolutely think uh, Nathan deserved this victory, hopefully he will be able to travel to the US, but we'll see more of him at Dubai Pro next, I think Bonek is doing it as well, Bechrus is coming as well, so maybe Nathan is gonna have his chance of redemption at that show, but Nick Zilla is also gonna be there, and he's gonna smoke everybody in my opinion, he's gonna just dwarf everybody, but we'll see, we have a couple of weeks left until that, tell me what you guys think about this show, and also, as expected, Stefan Matala wins his division, of course, classic physique, he brought good conditioning, now... What I saw at a live stream, it wasn't exactly, you know, what I saw in the photos. I think it's just bad live stream, like, you can't capture all those details that he had a day before in those photos on Instagram, like on the daylighting with an iPhone. Maybe we're gonna see some better footage, but, like, I didn't see the details in the glutes, you know, the, the, the shredded lines. The other guys had it, like, look at this guy next to him. Look at his conditioning in the back in the glutes. I thought, I thought Stefan is gonna be much better in that regard. And I thought his back is gonna be bigger... But it wasn't, you know, that good, and, like, his conditioning is much better than the last year, he's definitely much improved in that regard, and with his structure, his shape, of course he won. And I'm still very curious to see what he's gonna do at the Mr. Olympia, because, of course, now he's qualified, however, like, I think, like, his polish, his oil wasn't good enough at this show, especially with his skin being so dark compared to this other guy here. So I think he should have used more glaze to make him appear a bit more detailed. I don't know how much it would have helped, but... I think he could have looked a little bit more detailed in the glutes, like Chris Bumstead has much, much more separated glutes, so does Ramon Dino, so does Urs Urs Kletzinski, so does Wesley Wissers, so if he wants to be one of the top guys, I think he needs even more conditioning, but 
I don't know if he can even improve that. I mean, he was super, super lean just on the stage. You don't see the deep cuts. Again, maybe you're going to see them in some much better quality video. But as for live stream, I didn't see like the deepest cuts. That's just me. However, he deserved this victory. He's going to go to the Mr. Olympia. And I'm pretty sure he's going to do well, even like this. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best. And bye-bye.